Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're going to talk about being single and loneliness because somebody actually messaged me on WhatsApp today and asked me about whether I was single and how I deal with loneliness while being single and I feel like this is such a common thing actually in today's society and everything where a lot of people find it difficult to be alone because they associate that with loneliness and it's something that I've had to really work through myself because I was very very codependent in past relationships not so much recent ones but like a few years ago I was very very codependent so it's something that has to be worked through within ourselves it's like a lot of shadow work and everything to do with um your self-esteem and confidence and trust and just so many good damn beliefs when it comes to yourself and just safety in this world so codependency is for a whole other video but I feel like when it comes to being single or even just when it comes to maneuvering through life and dealing with different relationship dynamics and stuff sometimes you can be in a relationship and still be lonely so I think it kind of relates no matter whether you're single or not but for me I feel like it comes down to being not only secure within yourself but building a relationship a healthy relationship with yourself and oftentimes when we're clinging to these other people or when we're feeling alone now that we're single it's because we literally feel like like I always picture it like you're drowning or like you're sinking or something because you're now on your own and you're out in the world on your own and it doesn't feel safe like a lot of times we use people as safety blankets and comfort blankets but not actually because it's a healthy dynamic or a healthy relationship but because we just want that element of safety by having somebody else there and I feel like a lot of this stems from childhood and things so I just highly recommend doing your shadow work when it comes to actually being able to change this but from my perspective it really is about getting comfortable within yourself so that you don't need anybody else as your life support or as your oxygen or something so that you can function you know like it really is like a safety blanket or like a crutch people use it as a way for them to live through like you live through the other person they're what you need in order to be able to function and exist in the world instead of having your own identity and your own relationship with yourself to the point where you're comfortable enough in yourself to be able to move through the world and not need anybody else to validate you or support you or hold your hand while you move through whatever it is that you're going through. It's like you build that relationship with yourself so much that you're that you feel fine, like you feel okay being by yourself, you feel good and you feel comfortable. Like you become your own safety blanket and your own oxygen to be able to exist and thrive and do everything without needing somebody else there so for myself it's something that I had to work through because I was very codependent like I said and I really had to work through my self-esteem issues and fear of abandonment and all of those kind of things so that I could build a good relationship with myself to where now I don't feel like I need anybody else like I don't need you in order for me to function I don't need you in order for me to live my life or pursue my goals or do anything that I want to do I'm going to do those things regardless because I feel secure enough in myself now that I can do that and I want to do that kind of thing whereas a few years ago I was absolutely petrified to even go to the shops on my own and things like that so I always needed other people to just help me and support me and just hold me up kind of thing but once you work on yourself and you work on your self-esteem you won't need that anymore you might want it as humans we thrive in community we all want to have connections like we need that we thrive on that it's something that actually like as humans we really do need for our own sanity we need connection but 
I now have got to a place where I don't need a romantic partner in order to feel good you know I think if I had nobody then maybe I would feel a bit shit about that and sometimes especially when you're walking the spiritual path of awareness like self-awareness doing your shadow work and if you study metaphysics and the occult and things like that it really does open your mind and change your perception and outlook then it can get very isolating and lonely even when you're around people because if they're not doing the same thing if they don't believe in the same things that you do then it can get very isolating and I've been going through this off and on for the past three years because it's just a very difficult path to walk especially when you're building a business and nobody else around you is as well like it's just a lot but that's when you have to kind of bring it back to yourself even more like you have to just keep on coming back to yourself, reminding yourself of your worth, connecting with how you feel, listening to each aspect of yourself and how each aspect feels because all of them are valid and just nourishing yourself and nurturing yourself as if you were your own inner child. Like it's a case of reparenting yourself so that you no longer need an external person to be that support because you have that support within yourself. So being single doesn't automatically mean that you're lonely. People can thrive by themselves without needing a an intimate partner to be there. But of course, we all want that. Like the majority of us want connection and we want to find our life partner and our soul tribe and have incredible friendships as well and stuff. Like, I think that's a really important thing for all of us. But you have to know yourself in order to be able to consciously choose which connections are good for you and which ones aren't you need to be able to discern that and you can't discern that if you don't know yourself so I really think if you're struggling with loneliness especially if you're single then it's time to reconnect to yourself now because these other connections can't come in in the best way until you do that so it's time to reconnect with yourself with who you are with what you want in this life with what you came here to do like what you feel passionate about what you feel called towards what excites you what you enjoy figuring out all of these things and then doing those things like building a strong enough relationship with yourself to where you'll allow yourself to do those things, to do the things that you're passionate about, to pursue goals that you want to achieve and things, and really walk your own soul mission path, like walk that, because then you're going to align with people that resonate with that, with that resonate with who you are, with where you're going, like the direction that you're going in, the vision that you see for yourself. You want people that resonate with that because that's where you're headed and that's who you are. So like doing those things and being authentic with those things will allow those people to come in and building that solid relationship with yourself will lessen and kind of dissolve the loneliness because you're not alone you have you and you have an incredible relationship with you and you know where you're going you know your vision so you're able to like I feel like it's a mindset shift so you won't be perceiving it as loneliness because you won't feel that within yourself because you're enjoying what you're doing day to day and then also building friendships as well because if you have friendships and you have family and stuff like that then not having a romantic partner is not the end of the world because you still have people that you love and care about around you and that also keeps you in a high vibration and a high vibrational mindset to then attract the type of life partner that you would want because I personally would rather be alone for like five years than to spend that five years with somebody that I was not in alignment with do you know what I mean? that's how I feel now and a few years ago I did not feel that way whatsoever which is why I clung to like toxic outdated relationships but now I've come to realise in myself that I genuinely would rather be alone than be with somebody that's not right for me so it's time to actually nourish ourselves and wait for the right people and stop being in a rush to have that void filled by other people when you could fill that void within yourself.
So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to my music, social media, my phone number, my jewellery brand and one-to-one -one sessions if you would like to book a one-to-one -one session with me. Everything about me is in the description box below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week. You can also DM me or text or WhatsApp me if you have any video suggestions because I'm always open to those and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Think you like me, yeah I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea. Oh yeah, think you like me, yeah I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea. Oh yeah, I think you might, I'm the thing you like me, my range all white. Oh yeah, think you might, I'm the thing you like me, my range all white.